Hi guys, welcome back to my vlog channel. Today we have a very exciting vlog. So I woke up, went on TikTok, did my daily newspaper <laughs> watch, and I saw that there is a garlic festival going on in Cleveland, an hour away from me, and they have tons of different garlic foods you could buy, like garlic fries, garlic wraps, actual garlic, tons of different kinds, garlic olive oils, like literally anything garlic you can think of, and also live music, some little shops, like I saw they had like garlic earrings, garlic clothes, all of that from little vendors, and that is all up my alley. I love doing little like festivals like this, is that what you would call it? I think so, and garlic is like my favorite, you all know. So we got ready and we are going and doing that today, it is Sunday, I called my mom up and I was like, there's a garlic festival, get ready. <laughs> We're going. So we're gonna head up that way and I will vlog there and show you guys what's all there. I'm so excited. I'm also so hungry. I saw that they had like iced coffee and stuff too. So I think I might just wait until we get there to eat and everything because I'm sure the smell of garlic in the town is gonna just make you so hungry. And I definitely want to try like everything that sounds good because I've never heard of a garlic festival before. Like this is amazing. All right, let's head there. We made it. We finally found parking. It's it's very busy here. My mom's in my merch. Hi Extra there. garlic. <laughs> She's dressed for the occasion. I'm in a flannel. It's actually a little chilly in it's the shade. But this area is cute. Look at all these big trees. So now we have a little bit of a walk and then we're gonna eat some garlic. We just bought some garlic. We each got two. It's so good. We taste tested it on a Cheez-It. Mm, the garlic is like so strong, which that's how I like it. So now we're waiting in line to get the garlic fries. That's garlic fries and they even give you the garlic dipping sauce and some ketchup and I got Mexican street corn. Try out the fry. Ooh, those look so good. Yeah, is it garlicky? Yes. Okay, let's try a garlic fry. Oh, is it just mayo? I think it's garlic. Mmm. Yummy. Isn't it? Yeah. Let me try this sauce. Mm. It's corn. A big lump of nuts. It's really juicy. She doesn't know what I'm talking about. I don't know how you and dad This is the best corn I've ever had. It's like a garlic mayo on there. Mm. Look how cute. For eight bucks, we got to make a cheese board. A little mini cheese board with a ton of different cheeses. This is like a garlic one with vegan bacon, cheddar, garlic cheese curds, pepper jack, like a whole bunch of everything. This one's good, like a smoky. Oh, the smoky one, I love smoky cheese. Mm. I got the aftertaste of garlic. Yeah, these are the, yeah. garlic donuts. And then we got Buckeye ones, those ones look so good. These, hot honey. Oh yeah, hot honey too, and then like garlic Flakes. Flakes. It's, it tastes weird. I don't really like it. It's got an aftertaste of garlic. My mouth is just reeked like garlic this whole time. <laughs> okay, we're leaving now. That was fun. Our mouths reek like garlic. We had a bunch of fun garlic stuff. And uh, yeah, that was cool. Kind of like an Italian festival. Just cause They had a lot of food. They had like hot dogs and a lot of all, bees. Lots of bees. We were being attacked. I don't know what it is, but bees love me and I'm terrified. I know, right? It's my blood type O. Yeah, they like dad too. Yeah, we're both blood type O. <laughs> which they do say mosquitoes like blood type O more because they're su it's sweeter blood. So, oh and I got the cutest earrings ever. I will show you guys them later. They're so cute. They're little like handmade food earrings. I'm back home now. I just had some dinner with my mom, she had my leftover steak hibachi that I made yesterday, and then I made myself a meatloaf sandwich. So good, 
The meatloaf recipe is on my channel and I just slice it up, put some butter in a pan and just, you know, toast them and warm them up like that. And then I flip them, get the edges like all crispy each side. And then on a bun, I like a hamburger bun, I just do mayo and then the meatloaf. Oh, it's so good. And like on Hawaiian rolls, meatloaf sandwiches are delicious. But I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So I got this homemade cheese board. I think it's just funny. It's like burned into the wood, which is really cool. Eat, drink, stink. <laughs> so it's just a little homemade wooden board. I think it's very funny. And then I got some garlic. Got to pick them out. So they had like a ton of different kinds. This is just like the normal kind. And then here are the earrings I got. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So this girl makes all of them with polymer clay, a cracker and cheese, obsessed. Like, that's handmade, how cute. It's like even with the little ridges around the edge, so cute. And then I got, of course, I had to, the garlics. Little garlic cloves. And then I got this for my friend. For her birthday that's coming up because she likes this tequila so cute these coffee beans <gasps> i absolutely love these like that's so funny and it looks so real and then i got these cheeseburgers thought these would be perfect for a mukbang like all of these i'm gonna wear all of these in my mukbangs but it looks like a little big max a little double cheeseburger and then I also really loved this one. These are little cinnamon rolls. So cute. And then I got these for my friend. These are for my friend Gabby. You guys might know her on TikTok or YouTube. She's Sloth Girl on TikTok and the Crab Rangoons Queen. So I had to get her these because that's like perfect. So I'm gonna mail these over to her and I hope she loves them. Hello, it's actually a few days later. So I wanted to pick up the vlog here and show you guys, is my makeup all smudged? Oh, I didn't even realize. <laughs> I was like, no way my bottom eyelash is that long <laughs> from the viewfinder. But I just unboxed some new puppy things. So I wanna share with you guys these puppy essentials. And if you still don't know yet and you're like, what, puppy, huh? Watch my Chick-fil-A mukbang on my main channel. Yes, I am getting a third dog. I'm getting a puppy soon, and I cannot wait. She comes next week, so can't wait. I've been ordering all of the essentials and just getting ready for the puppy. I am absolutely so excited. I cannot wait, and I'm going to vlog a lot of the training process with her. I'm going to vlog it all because I don't think I ever really, I like, Showed like little clips I feel like with my past two dogs, but I'm gonna really try and give all my tips I have for training and how I do it and Yeah, because I've done it three. Uh, it's gonna be my third time doing it and basically just step by step What I do and how I trained my two pups and about to train my third So I have a dog list in my Amazon storefront where I'm gonna list all these items I'm about to show you so this blanket just came. It's it's actually so cute and so soft so this is a pet blanket. It is actually waterproof and it's really pretty. So I'm just putting this on the couch. If the puppy is on the couch, she's gonna be on that blanket <laughs> because I made the mistake with Mochi letting her be on the couch and once they pee once on the couch, they will continue to do it. So definitely get yourself a waterproof blanket and have it in their crate, their or on your bed, wherever you're gonna have your puppy be, but I'm definitely having this on the couch. Next are these training bites. Love these treats. I used these for both of my dogs. They have them in, a, uh, I think, three flavors, and they are so tiny and great for training because they are low calorie. I believe it says on here, yeah, it's only 1.5 calories per treat, so you can give them a lot because when you are training, you're gonna be giving your dog lots of treats, or you can do um, their kibble too, whatever dog food they're using, you can switch off, but love these treats, and my dogs have both loved them. They're very soft, 
like really really soft you can squish them and then I got some toys little toys and some little bones don't get your puppy a big bone they like small toys so I got these little blankets these are also waterproof it came in a three pack I put one in Hershey's crate and one in Mochi's as well that one's really cute I like that one but I thought maybe they'd want to like snuggle and lay on it but you always want to cover your puppy's crate which this one is actually doesn't cover all of it, so I'll probably end up using that little French Bulldog blanket to cover her crate at night. It just will make it feel more cozy and they'll feel more safe in it and have less anxiety. So definitely cover their crate at night. I usually leave the front open though so it like doesn't get too hot in there. So yeah, cover the whole crate besides the front and I recommend one of these. These are snuggle pets. So they're so cute. It comes in like a few different colors and it comes with a heat pack and you can heat the pack and put it in the dog and it has a heartbeat. So the heartbeat goes in the bottom and when you start it, there's a heartbeat. It's just a subtle vibration and the heartbeat noise. This will go on for eight hours and this will soothe your dog's anxiety and they will snuggle with it thinking it's you know their mom or another dog so they don't feel as alone in the crate you want to start your dog off in like a very small crate you don't want to put a puppy in a large crate because then they will pee in a corner and go to sleep in the other corner you want them to not have much room so they will not have accidents in the crate obviously they still need room to like turn around and stuff she's probably gonna be like weight like half of this size <laughs> she's only three pounds right now but she's going to probably gain a couple pounds before next week I would think she'll get a little bit bigger but she's gonna be tiny very tiny so this is a great crate to start off with. I actually got this one from Amazon as well. I can link this in the dog album as well. It's a great crate. This bottom piece comes out, so if you need to like take it outside and hose it off or put it through the dishwasher, actually, that's kind of gross. <laughs> I don't know though, is it? But yeah, I do have a little pillow insert. It's in the washer though because Mochi's fur was still on it. So I'm cleaning that so there's no past scent on it or past urine smell on it. And that'll go in here as well. The girls are home from boot camp. Hi, babies. You want to show you, you want to show something you learned? Let's show them place. Place. Mochi, this one you. So they both learn to go to their places and people can walk in, there can be distractions, and they will not get off of their place. Whether that place is a couch, their bed, their cots, whatever, but until I give them the word, yes, yes. <laughs> They're a little hesitant, but yes, means you guys are free. Yay, and Mochi got bigger. And you guys, the puppy is here. So stay tuned for next vlog to meet her.